Okay, well, I, I feel like I'm getting there a little bit. Growing old can take its toll. Muscles get sore, joints creak. Oh, yeah. Hearing can be more difficult, and one's vision can be subject to many common ailments. The only comfort in that is that we're all dealing with it, right? And we're so much more wise at the same time. <laughs> True. Yeah. One of the benefits. A new device is now helping some people with low vision problems enjoy more of their regular daily routines. Hey, Dave. Yeah, hey, guys. This is uh, really kind of cool. It is uh, one of the most common causes, I should say, one of the most common causes of, macula of, is, of low vision, excuse me, is macular degeneration. That's a progressive decline of one's field of vision. Well, this product called Iris Vision integrates a smartphone with a virtual reality headset in a unique way, and it's helping many folks see more of what they've been missing. I know that you're there. I can see your form, and I have my peripheral vision but I don't have the details of, of anything I'm looking at here. 75-year-old Sandy Thackeray has macular degeneration. For 25 years, her vision has been steadily declining. Searching for a solution, husband Milt came across a device called Iris Vision. Engineer Frank Combined helped create the device. It allows you to see out into the world so that you can find objects on the supermarket shelf. You can go for a drive and look at the trees. Patients with macular degeneration lose their vision from the center outward, leaving spots of blindness. Frustrating for movie, sports, and theater lovers like Sandy. You know, when you go to a, a humorous show, um, everybody else is laughing at something that's going on up there, and you're just thinking, Ooh, I wish I knew what was making everybody laugh. Coming back into the world of vision, creates the ability to have social contact. And social contacts are probably the most important. With those missing areas filled in, Sandy is better able to enjoy everyday activities. Now I'm live at 11, a whistleblower. I can see so many more details of things that I couldn't before. I mean, I've even learned how to like football. <laughs> well, I think it's really helped her enjoy being around the family, at, at the, particularly the sporting events where she can watch the kids. I can zero in on which one is really my grandchild and not yell for one that I think is mine and somebody else will say, gee, you're nice to yell for my kid. Putting it on, it was easy to see the benefits. Oh, that's very helpful. Do I, I have see. wrinkles, really? No, you, you, look, you look like you're 20. Oh, yeah. oh, I love you. <laughs> Set brightness to seven. The device can respond to voice commands, making everyday tasks a little easier. The oven, the microwave, the washer, anything that I have to use that, so that I can push the right buttons. We can help middle-aged people go back to work, and we can help older people come back into a social community from which they've been so isolated because of their vision loss. All right, now, Irish vision is also used to help with glaucoma, retinopathy, and other causes of low vision. It is a bit pricey, upwards of $2,000. Sandy says it's worth it. She also says the customer support is very good. For more information on Irish vision, go to our website, fox13now.com. We'll put a link there for you. And if you have an idea for one of my Booming Forward segments, perhaps someone with a story to tell or a product you've seen and you'd like me to try it out, drop me a line, Booming Forward at fox13now.com.